Hey guys, so today I am going to be showing you a Belle from Beauty and the Beast inspired hair and makeup look. Belle is my absolute favorite princess. Beauty and the Beast is my favorite movie, so I've always wanted to do this video and I finally did it and I'm so happy with how it turned out. So this look is based off of the cartoon version, the 1997 version, which is my favorite. So yeah guys, so let's just jump on in. So I'm applying this L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base Primer all over my face to just smooth out my pores and give me a really kind of flawless um, foundation to start with. Now I'm going in with the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation and I'm applying this all over my face. This is like one of my all-time favorite foundations because it just lays beautifully on the skin. It's so buildable and it's super easy to apply. And I'm blending this out and um, down my neck with my um, Real Techniques sponge. And now I'm applying some Maybelline Fit Me Concealer um, in a little bit lighter of a shade than what my skin tone is. I'm using this to both conceal and highlight. I'm applying it under my eyes and along like the sides of my nose, up onto my eyelids, um, on my upper lip and cupid's bow, on my nose and slightly up onto my forehead to just bring dimension and light to the face. I also applied some over any of the little breakouts I had. Now I'm very lightly setting my face with this Cody Airspun Translucent Powder. Um, I'm just doing this because it's summer and it's hot and <laughs> I didn't want to sweat off my makeup. But I really don't want this to look super matte or anything like that because I feel like Belle has a kind of luminous glow to her skin. So now I'm going in with Too Faced Candlelight Glow, um, which is actually a highlighter, but I'm taking it on a huge fluffy brush and I am just brushing it all over my face to give us that really beautiful lit from within look that Belle definitely has. As you know, she stalks around the castle, which I'm sure illuminates her face. Um, at night with all the candles so that is why I did this and then of course I'm just applying a little bit of bronzer underneath my cheekbones and on the sides of my temples and up onto my forehead to once again bring dimension and life to the face I'm applying some to the sides of my nose and under my lip as well to just define those areas now I'm going in with this IT Cosmetics Ombre Blush in Genesequa, which is just the perfect blush for this look because the actual blush itself is perfect and then the name is a quote from the live action Beauty and the Beast, so it's just perfect. <laughs> um, anyways, this blush is a beautiful, beautiful, bright baby doll pink and it has this sort of soft glow to it, which is perfect and I'm just packing it on because... Belle definitely has really rosy cheeks in the movie. Now I'm taking this matte kind of bone shade from the Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D and I'm applying this all over my eyelids starting with my brow bone and then I'm going to work it down onto my lid and then eventually right into my inner corner area to brighten that up and just kind of set a really nice even base for the eyeshadow look. Now I'm taking this kind of peachy um, matte brown color and a fluffy brush and I'm just fluffing this all over my eyelid from inner corner to outer corner and up into my crease. You really want this to be soft and just really beautiful and kind of smoky because Belle's eyelids look slightly darker than the rest of her skin but um, not in a way that's like, like dark and like you know what I mean? Intense. It's just very soft and beautiful and it just really enhances her kind of hazel green brownish eye color. Yeah, I'm taking a slightly darker brown shade and concentrating that more um, on the lid area but still blowing it out and smoking it. And now I'm taking this ice latte kind of shimmery eyeshadow and just lightly applying that to my inner corner and slightly onto that inner eyelid area. You guys know I love a really intense and bright inner corner highlight, but for this look you just want it to be soft and subtle and just bring dimension. Now I'm going in with eyeliner, which is one of the most important pieces of this entire look. Because Belle's eyes are super defined and doe-eyed. She definitely has on like an eyeliner in the movie. So I'm just drawing a subtle black line across my entire lid. And then I'm making a really tiny small wing. And it's not a wing in like the traditional kind of cat eye, feline flick type of look. What I'm really doing is kind of like making a gradient of 
thickness so the outer corner is the thickest part of the eyeliner and at the end of the eyeliner instead of it just being square I'm kind of drawing it into a triangle so you're not kind of extending it out like you would traditionally you're just sort of opening up the eye by making this sort of triangle shape at the very end so hopefully you can see sort of what I'm doing and how that opens up the eye this will give you that kind of cartoon eye shape. Um, Candy Johnson has a wonderful Belle inspired video and she explains this eyeliner technique a lot better than I do in this video. So maybe go check that out if you're still confused on this. But yeah, just kind of wing that ever so slightly. So now I'm just curling my lashes and applying some mascara. I'm focusing my mascara mainly on the inner tear duct area because I'm going to be applying falsies, but they're only going to be on the outer half of my eyelid. So I'm making sure there's enough mascara to blend the falsies and the natural lashes together. So now I'm just popping on these lashes. They are super beautiful and glam, but like I said, they only... Um, sit on that outer half of the eye so it really gives that doe-eyed cartoon eyed effect that Belle has. Now I'm taking that same matte brown color from earlier and I'm just ever so slightly defining my lower lash line. I'm doing this super gently just to kind of open up my eyes and make them appear wider. Now I'm going to, to do my brows and her brows in the movie are actually very defined and they have a sort of rounded inner edge which mine do not so as you can see I'm kind of drawing a rounded shape right at the beginning of my brow and then I'm filling it in pretty pretty heavily um I mean you don't want to like sharpie on your eyebrows but Belle's eyebrows are definitely defined so that is what I'm doing And now, of course, I'm setting those um, with some clear brow gel just so they last all day and stay in place. So now I'm just cleaning off any foundation or concealer or whatever from my lips before I put on my lip liner. This is from Lancome and it's called the Rose Petal Lip Liner, which is just perfect for this look because, of course, the Enchanted Rose is super important in the movie. And it just makes it extra special to have, like, the Rose Petal Lip Liner on for, for this look and it's just the perfect color anyways. So I am really defining my cupid's bow and then following slightly above my natural lip line because I like to overline my lips. And now I'm taking this Marc Jacobs lipstick and applying this everywhere. This is a beautiful rosy pink color that's just the perfect bell shade. And now I'm going back in with more lip liner because you can definitely tell that she has a lip liner and like a really defined lip line in the movie. And then I'm popping on a little bit of gloss because her lips are glossy right in the center. I'm taking some white eyeliner and applying that to my waterline. This will once again make your eyes appear bigger and more doe-eyed and more cartoon-like. And then once again, just blending my falsies and my natural lashes together with some mascara. So now I'm moving on to the hair. So I'm just parting the very front bang section of my hair out of the way because we're going to be doing a half up half down hairstyle. I really wanted to make sure those front bang sections were out because it will kind of give you that swoop that her hair has. And this is not supposed to be an exact recreation of her hairstyle during the ballroom scene. It's supposed to be a little bit more of like an everyday wearable style. So I sectioned off that bottom half of my hair that we will be curling later and I just put that off to the side. So now I'm just giving the front bang sections like a slight twist, like one or two slight twists and then putting that behind my ear. And then I'm combining it with the rest of that top section of hair and just sweeping it back. And obviously you can see some pieces are kind of popping out. I wanted mine to be slightly messy because I think that adds the really romantic and just soft vibe that her hair has. But of course you don't want it to be too uneven or anything. So don't focus on it being too perfect. But also, you know, like try to make it as even as possible. 
So as you can see, I'm just kind of playing around with it, sweeping it back with a brush, sweeping it back with my hands. And you just really want to make sure that middle part has those two front bang sections that kind of sweep backwards like I have here because that will really give that classic shape her hair has. So now I'm taking that ponytail section and I'm twisting the two pieces together. This is kind of similar to a rope braid, but it's not. It's just a simple twist. And this is just to give our bun a little bit more dimension and a little bit more of a romantic and whimsical feel. And now I'm just wrapping that little ponytail around and into a bun shape. This hairstyle is so super simple. I'm going to secure that with a little hair elastic and then I'm also going to bobby pin it down just to make sure it's secure. And then I'm going to pull that bun out a little bit more to make it kind of fuller and fluffier. And I think this really kind of enhances that sort of twist shape we have going on. So now take those bottom sections and slip them in half. And I'm picking up maybe like a one and a half inch section of hair. And I'm using my Numi Reverse Curling Wand. You could really use any curling iron for this. But the most important thing is that you are flattening the hair against the iron. As you can see, as I bring around the piece, I'm making sure it's not twisted. I'm straightening and flattening it out across the iron instead of having it twisted because I wanted like these perfect kind of ringlets versus kind of looser, more messy waves. So I'm going to show you guys this technique um, on a couple strands. So strand and one more so you really get it down. But it's super simple and it's nothing really crazy but it's just important that you make sure the hair is completely flat against the iron rather than twisted into a kind of like coiled shape. Also make sure you're curling away from your face and that all the pieces are roughly the same size and that they're going that same direction. Now I'm just going to finish off this side of my head doing that same process, curling the hair away from my face, scrunching it up a little bit, and then releasing it. Now I'm taking those front kind of um, baby hairs in that very front section and I'm curling that a little bit smaller and tighter because I really want the um, face to be framed with these curls. Also, if you have tiny little baby hairs like I do, make sure you curl those because I really think this adds that kind of princessy touch to the look when they're not just kind of straight and flying everywhere, but when they're curled, it just adds so much in my opinion. It just makes it look so much more like whimsical and romantic. So now, of course, repeat this same process on the other side of your head. This hairstyle is actually so quick and easy, in my opinion. I mean, maybe at first it could be a little confusing, but not really. If you just, like, do it a couple times, I feel like I can do this hairstyle in, like, 10 minutes or less, honestly. Okay guys, so once you finish up your curls, then your hair is complete and the look itself is complete. So spray it with some hairspray and make sure it lasts all day. But yeah guys, that is it for this look. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on all my other social media. And thank you guys so much for watching and I love you. Bye guys.